The next kind of thing we're going to talk about is what's called the curse of dimensionality. So this is as much a data, this is sort of a data quality issue, but it's something that we have to be careful about when we're doing data pre-processing. So the curse of dimensionality is that as your number of dimensions increases, so as the number of columns, number of attributes you have in your data set increases, the data inherently becomes increasingly sparse in that space. Since in a lot of contexts, in a lot for a lot of different algorithms, definitions of density and distances between points, of similarity and dissimilarity, um, are really important to things like clustering methods and outlier detection, so anomaly detection. And this all becomes less meaningful. If you add enough dimensions, every point looks like an outlier. So a great illustration of this is that if we randomly generate 500 points in, a, in, a, uh, in an n-dimensional space, and we compute the difference between the maximum distance between any pair of points and the minimum distance between any pair of points, and this has been normalized in a log taken to make it look pretty, we can see that in, at two dimensions, with 500 randomly generated points, the maximum distance is about three and a quarter times larger than the minimum distance. Actually, this is 10 to the three and a quarter times larger because there's a log, there's a log base 10 here. Hmm. As we increase the number of dimensions though, that spacing falls off really sharply. And by the time we get down here, 30, 40, 50 dimensions, our points are so sparse that the minimum distance between points and the maximum distance is almost the same thing. This is a this this represents this fifty point represents a factor of something like ten to the twenty ten to the point two five, like the fourth root of ten is the difference between the maximum distance and the minimum distance. It's just a very small number. It's really hard to define outliers when you have such high dimensional data, because every point is an outlier. On, in, in, in some ways, because there's just so many, there's, there's just so, the, the space is so sparse. So the solution to this data quality problem is something called dimensionality reduction. So we can do dimensionality reduction via aggregation um, or other sorts of, of column combination, um, but there are also a number of uh, mathematical techniques. Two of the big popular ones are principal component analysis, or PCA, and singular value decomposition, also called SVD. Um, and those are mathematical techniques that will run automatically that will reduce the dimension dimensionality of your data. PCA actually usually goes from n dimensions, so as many dimensions as you happen to have, all the way down to two dimensions. Uh, Natalie, they are kind of the same thing, but they aren't exactly the same thing. I'm not going to go into great detail because we don't spend a lot of time on dimensionality reduction over the course of the boot camp. Um, but my understanding is that they are distinct um, techniques, though they have the same goal. They just are different. They, they have the same goal, but they are achieved via different mathematical methods.